Brexit issue the area of greatest concern because of the, the impact that has on current policy making. Um, it's uh, a huge undertaking that needs to be done at the same time as the EU is trying to look for ways for it to become more competitive more internationally, uh, has a lot of challenges domestically. If uh, Brexit occurs, uh, which is the most likely outcome in my view, uh, we will need to have uh, unified capital markets in Europe, otherwise uh, capital markets uh, will uh, continue to be in the UK or in, or, or in New York. We have a new regulatory paradigm that affects not just the banks but the financial system, but uh, we need to make it, uh, you know, work in a smoother way. Even the limited reforms that we have undertaken say prospectus or the revision of the MIFID II or the Market Abuse Directive have resulted in enormous complications rather than simplifications. I think we may need a pause in a level one regulation and need maybe some sort of you know, coordination, some sort of codified text in order to really to simplify and to make it you know, easy access to, to, to European regulation. the essential thing of financial sector regulation, adequate and proportionate. So I think we should do a stock-taking review of the existing legislation. Uh, and secondly, we should urgently look at measures for the digital economy and sustainable finance. We put a lot of hope in the uh, EU action plan on sustainable finance. And I think that with the taxonomy, we will really define what's green, and what we need to be financed in order to transition to a low-carbon economy.